So what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Ryan, owner of Technical Prosperity. And I got my boy here, Justin, also known as Justin Take Profits on Instagram. Did I say that right? Yes, sir. Ah, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about yourself. How did you find me on social media? And how did you get involved into trading? Right. So um, me personally, I was born in New York, um, raised out here in South Florida. And bas basically how I got into trading was through a friend, right? He, okay. he put me on through the... Um, IML company and um, I saw it was kind of like a whole pyramid thing where they wanted me to <laughs> sell for them so people could learn about the trading but me personally I just wanted to get to the money so once I figured out that's how they're running their business started trying to look for people who were actually getting to the money so okay, okay, okay. and obviously you were one of those people so um, I followed you throughout your whole career I was just waiting on the moment to be able to connect with you and learn from you and I finally got that opportunity, man. And now I'm here with, with some success and more to come. That's what's up. Got to shout sure. you out. You know, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. All right. So tell me, what was one of the vehicles that you used to trade with? Did you personally fund your account or did you use a funny account? Because back in the day, I didn't have funny accounts. Okay. So the fact that we are in that stage right now that there is something available right. with, you could have put it on, you know, a couple of thousand here and there and get a bigger funny account. Are you taking advantage of what's out there in the marketplace or are you personally funding your accounts to get to where you're at today? Yeah, you know, so I feel like people need to understand that leveraging other people's money is okay. So if, th if this vehicle is doing that for you, mm -hmm. is this something that you're currently doing? Because I'm like inspired by people doing that because it shows me that y'all got perseverance. You have a lot of energy to want to like do more for yourselves, you know, to get more capitalization to elevate your game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I honestly first started out from um, trading my live accounts. Um, I, you know, I made money working, then I put it in the market and, you know, it was a lot of trial and error going that route. And then I found out about the funded accounts. Um, I, at first I was kind of skeptical about it. I wouldn't really trust it and things like that. But once I saw like a lot of these people were actually making money and I saw the withdrawals and I finally bought an account, you know, put the skills that, that I've learned from you into it, you know, past the challenges and then got funded and God, took profit. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> to take profit just to take profit. Yes, sir. <laughs> heard it from himself. Um, <laughs> what was one of the biggest trading days you had so far? Um, so far I've, so the biggest day, as far as the trade goes, the trade was actually around $39,000. But on the actual account, I was down borderline going to pretty much blow that account. So I only made about like twenty, twenty three thousand dollars profit for me but but if but had i not been down the account it would have been about like 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. that's what's up so sure. what did you take from that experience when you're able to withdraw that money what type of like fulfillment did you have inside oh man it definitely like changed just the flow of my life in general okay. i was able to handle a whole bunch of bills everything is clean i have you know, no debt now like i'm just ready for that next step just continue to make more money like, just excited <laughs> You sure. remind me of my story back in the day. Like, yeah. when I had my first 20K month, yeah, like, I quit my job. Word. <laughs> <So I went laughs> full time. So this was like, this is the one. Yeah, man. This is what I got to do. This is my purpose, you know? This so it. it's pretty cool seeing other people do those type of withdrawals to actually say, you know what? This is what I really want to do. Mm -hmm. But outside of trading, mm -hmm. what else do you got going on in your life? Um, so outside Before you got involved into this, you were doing something clearly before. Yeah. Like, what perspective did you learn to like say, all right, I could do this, or I could do this, yeah. and this is why I want to do this because I'm trying to do something new, or better yet, you just want more for yourself. So, right. where were you previously working at, or if you are still working, mm -hmm. where are you at right now in life with trading and compared to that? Yeah, so, um, I honestly recently just um, like quit my job, right? And oh, shit. yeah, yeah, for sure. So, now I'm kind of chasing that freedom that trading is going to bring to me. And, but prior, prior to that, I actually was a, um, a performance coach. Um, I worked with Infinity Sports Institute um, and I built a career with them. And that itself, I love that career and that, that where I was at, but that wasn't gonna get me to the lifestyle that I see for myself, right? Yeah. As fast as I wanted to. Absolutely. Um, I feel like having a job in a way kind of like puts like weight on your shoulder right so once that weight is off you feel like you're 
You're free you to do what you got to do. You got to do what you do. All you have to do is focus on trading now. So now a lot of the stress is eliminated, and now I'm able just to focus on the, the real bag. Yeah, I saw you trade the other day, too. Posted mm-hmm. on social media. How much were you up again? Um, I was actually, yeah, yeah. I, I was actually like nine bands. Nine, nine bands. Yeah. Yeah. So you just out here killing it now. Yeah, man. There's a lot, a lot, a lot to come. Sure. I'm actually about to take a flight to DR tonight. I'm about to go crazy. For real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, man. It's freedom. Yeah, you, no, that's, that's, you got to that's enjoy the, this, though. Yeah. I actually like that for you. All right. So what was your worst day trading? And what type of obstacles did you feel mentally when you were actually in this horrible trade? Right. Or horrible day? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, Honestly, um, my worst day was when I was actually finally funded for, like, the second time. And on that day... I was up on the account like nine thousand dollars, right? I was ready to to withdraw. I had probably about a week from my, you know, my payout, right? And I decided to trade again, and you know, took a L and blew all that money there, and then went down on the on the overall account and almost blew the whole account. So that. Probably was the worst day because I was finally traded. I was ready to take out big profit and just get it going. But that would probably be the, the worst. What was one. like your mental mindset going through that process, though? Um, my mental uh, first things first. I definitely forced that trade. Um, <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. Okay. I was just I just wanted to make more money and didn't really miss the miss the signal, and then it just went the other way. But as far as what my mentality and my psychology through that trade it was it was tough but but i didn't quit i continued to to keep you know keep at it build that account again and and become eventually in profit so as far as just like my mentality was just more just believing in myself believing and believing in the confidence. Yeah, confidence the skill trusting the process and trusting perseverance mm-hmm. yeah the desire yeah for sure okay okay most definitely all that all those things I kick like in that. and and you'll be good. That's the TP way. Yes, sir. TP's get hit, baby. So what else can you tell the people about the course? Like, what is the main thing you love about the course? And if there's anything I could do to make my course better, mm-hmm. what um, would you suggest? All right. So first, um, as far as what I like about the course, um, aside from all the technicals and understanding how to read the chart and understand price action and market structure and all that good stuff, the psychology part is where it it changed for me and it clicked. And I think that dealing with you and you teaching me that part of it changed the game for me. So the psych- the psychological part of the game that you that you teach and you apply is definitely very helpful. Oh, that's what's up. Appreciate sure. that. Sure. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. All right. So what do you think I could do to make the course better? If there was anything that I needed to add. If you need to add, because I'm willing to see the thing about me is if I have any of my students say, Ryan, can Mm -hmm. you add this? You know, I'm going to do what I got to do to make it happen. So if there was anything that you feel like I could do anything currently for the course, for the people, for the people, what do you think I should add? Honestly, I think you should just add more courses. Start doing more courses, man. We need to see you out here getting people (laughs) more money. Gotcha, you know, gotcha, so gotcha. I think so that's the only thing. Person classes and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, that'll be for you. That's just me saying that as as what you're teaching. I, I wouldn't say there's anything that would have to be changed or add. You know, added. I think that is very straight to the point, and I think that it it's it's doing what it has to do as far as like showing the results for your students and your you know your clients that you deal with. So okay. I would I, I honestly can't pick something out of my head to say that. You know, it's something that you're missing, so. So you're pretty much straightforward. Love everything yeah, straight, the way it is yeah, right now. For, yeah. All right, that's what's yeah, up. Definitely. Yeah, man. So, look, definitely appreciate you for coming out and actually attending this interview with Technical Prosperity. For sure. And have a safe flight to deal, my boy. Yes, sir. All right, peace. <laughs>